and now my colour's almost gone, but now Yep, definitely. LMS Patriot 5541 Duke of Sutherland. Just look at her, she's absolutely beautiful. Oh no oh and also um in this train, see if you can spot the issue one mark one. <laughs> yep, the issue one maroon mark one. Of course, she's still pretty new to the steam fleet. I got her just, yeah, yeah, back in the spring of this year. Such a gorgeous engine. Yeah, yeah, I'm just going to say, the, the the Duchess of Sutherland survived. It's a shame, it's a shame the Duke didn't. We, you know, if this loco existed in real life, uh, you know, again, you know, there's a few in in this video, in, including this one, which you know, if they, you know, if they, if they had made it, if they had survived the Cutter's Torch, they would almost definitely, you know, do do mainline runnings and be, you know, pretty famous and move around the country a lot. Yeah, yeah, move around the country a lot, and this one would be no exception. She would run on the main line, particularly on the west coast. Colds always come at these moments, don't they? <laughs> I mean, although, you know, I had an even worse one when I did the GWR festival back at the start of this year. Yeah, if the Duke of Sutherland had also made it along with the Duchess, just imagine. The Duke and Duchess of Sutherland both double heading on the West Coast Main Line. It, um, if I had to pick two lines, that 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 that, that would look great. Oh well, the one of the big ones, the West Coast, and also the the um, the Seattle Carlisle as well. Just imagine that. Pullman cars just on standby there. A couple of days later, my coal is pretty much fully gone. <clears throat> well, yeah, I'd say about 85%, and and the weather's um, well, a little bit better, sort of. It has been fairly poor. Next, a GWR locomotive, which would definitely be famous and probably do a lot of mainline runnings if she had survived. It really is a shame. That 6002 King William IV didn't make it. Mag magnificent engine. Of, of course, she's part of the Royal Mail collection here, limited edition. I guess she, she probably do mainline runnings like um, King Edward the First does, which is in BR blue, which Hornby do a fantastic model of. And of course, we haven't seen William, or, or King William, should I say, for a for a. A few months now. Last time we, well, um, last time we saw, I think it was the GWR special back at the start of this year. She need, needed a, a little bit of maintenance on the on cleaning her wheels when I first got her out. Um, was it about a week or so ago now? But overall, now she's running beautifully. Again, she would definitely be famous and well known if she'd survived and was in and was in the livery the model of her is here.
just looks so good when running. Again, just quite glad it's not as dark today. Again, the past few days it have been really dark and hard to get good shots. Some more shots of King William IV now, this time on a fantastic looking Pullman Dino train. Kind of reminds me of the blue, of the blue Pullman, a, a little bit with the colours and the lights as well. Again, again, you can barely see them now because it's broad daylight and a little better weather out there. But um, lunch is all cooking well in there, and there's uh, there's also going to be a, an evening one tonight as well with some darker evening shots. I know lights in all the Pullman cars would look good, but um, at least we, at least we get some clear daylight shots as well. Yeah, a few a few locos. Well, one or two will have a will have a turn up pulling this diner train. And here is the diner train running in the evening. Again, I know all you can really see is the lights, but of course we all know what the train looks like. It'd, it'd, be, it'd be even better if it if it was all lit up, of course. Dinner's ready and has just just been brought out of the kitchen there. I wonder what it is. Mmm, yummy. Next, now probably which would be the most famous of them all, well all in this video, yeah, well simply because she's an A4, LNR 4484 Falcon. Especially in her LNR blue livery. Oh and also um, hopefully Thursday of next week. I'll be attending the Autumn Great Gathering. I, I know, of course, I, w I went back in summer, but I, <clears throat> but I myself, and maybe some of you out there, will want to have one more look at all six A4s together. Let me see. Yeah, I'll um, I'll say that I'll say that again. That's Thursday of next week. Been recently, been recently talking to um, recent new friend James, who runs Level Crossing Two Two Five channel. I'd recommend checking his um, checking his channel out if you haven't done so already. He's quite a big fan of the um, of the of the East Coast trains. He's got some good videos, and well, uh, yeah, um, his current channel now, Level Crossing Two Two Five, is still fairly recent, and um, it could re it could really do with some more subscribers, some more some more popularity. 
again, very good friend. I've been talking to him for a while on Facebook now, hoping to meet up on um, uh, yeah, yeah, Thursday of next week if everything all goes to plan. And here again, um, his channel name is Level Crossing Two Two Five. Of course, if this A4 was preserved, she would be at the NR. Uh, yeah, um, she would be. Should be joining the the other six. If Falcon had survived, it's it, it's such a shame, and oh, and she'd probably oh, well, um, pretty much almost definitely be in be in uh, LNER blue. LNER blue for Mollard 75th Great Gathering. And either well, I know running would I know running would be better, but either you know if she had made it, either. You know, either running or or as a display like you know, like Mallard, Dominion of um, Dominion of Colin. Uh, <laughs> I nearly said the Dominion of Canada there. <laughs> oh my goodness, Dominion of Canada, and Dwight D. Eisenhower. Uh, of course, the three runners are Bitten, which is now in it, um, w uh, which is of course in this lip. I'd actually forgotten that um, that Bitten was 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 also in LNER Blue as well as Dominion of Canada. But of course, the three runners, uh, Bitter and Unina of South Africa, and Sir Nigel Gresley. Because you know, they're just are superb. I mean, you know, they look so fantastic, even when they, well, you know, you know, they look like they're even moving. You know, even when they're stood still. I had to get at least uh, one standstill shot of this locomotive. You know, again, despite being railroad, she's absolutely fantastic. I, I just love this loco. Of course, but if, if, even better if she had some windows fitted in there, like the railroad D49. You know, but still, she's you know she's fantastic, and I mean again, there is a DVD. Yeah, best of British team of yesteryear. Uh, probably most of you uh, railway fans out there might have seen it, or probably own it. I do. Um, where um, this A4 is shown is shown in it running on the East Coast Main Line. I think was it running around the Nebworth area? Yeah, yeah, back in the 60s when she was in BR Green. Also, same. Um, I'll also show. Dominion of Canada speeding along as well on the East Coast Main Line. Yeah, of course, um, um, Hornby do do the the um, you know well, you know the more detailed BR Green Falcon version, uh, which comes is it is it the heart of Mithlonian? Um, yeah, well, if it is, again, correct me if I'm wrong. But, um, will IC82? Uh, um, own, um, owns that fantastic looking train pack, so he's got the other version of Falcon. And of course, at Mallard's 75th, the, well, you know, the first one back in summer, uh, as well as Will IC82, also met another Will, Hornby on BF3 fan. And of course, Callum, it's a DGR 7F88. Again, um, I did a video of, of the first Great Gathering back in July. You can check, uh, you can check that out if you. If you haven't done so already, I think most of you have. Uh, when I go again next week, I might I might get a few shots, and uh, you know if there's any new thing, you know any new stuff there. Might as well get um you know just a few more. Well, you know one more, you know or one more few shots of the six A4s together. And now, finally, with the Diner Train, the Pete Waterman Collection Black 5, number 45190. As you can see, she's working really hard with this heavy Diner Train, it really is heavy. Um, but pulling it superb, she's going really well. Okay. 
Again, one superb looking dino train here. And as you can see, my cold is pretty much 100% better now. Well, just I've barely fit this whole massive train in shots, which I sometimes do. You know, sometimes do a big far, you know, far away shot like that. Again, I haven't filmed all the locals running tender first, just a few. Well, you know, or a bunker or tender first. Superb run of this black five. I oh, just quickly, um, quickly forgot to say that um, LNER A4 Falcon would, without a single doubt, um, be a popular mainline performer if she, if she, if she had made it into preservation. Same with 45190 as well, she would, well since it's a model with the danger overhead live wire, the danger overhead live wire stickers on the, um, the, the top of her boiler. I'm sure, I'm sure she would be a, main, a mainline performer. Last few shots of her, of her with the maroon mark ones. And so you can put it down in the comments if you've spotted the if you managed to spot the issue one mark one. Well, it's been a fantastic event this one. It really has, you know, just watching this you can just picture these locos running in real life. Where you know the you know the actual locos had had survived. It really is a shame they haven't. Just picture them running on preserved on main lines. Again, this was sort of like a joint to the preserved loco special I did back in summer. You know, featuring locos um, which are well, which are mostly famous and do exist. But, but you know, of course, are preserved, do exist in real life. You can maybe put down. Put down in the comments of this video, of this one, which event of the two you liked best. I'm looking forward to hit and um, to hearing everyone's opinions because both events have been fantastic. Again, of course, the preserved one back in summer. This one, um, well, you know the you know um, locals, which would have been famous. So you know would have liked to be I would have liked to you know to have been preserved especially here in Alton. I've really enjoyed doing this one, it really has been a pleasure. I hope you've all enjoyed.